All right, y'all. Vaughn Edmead again from AveragesFailure.com. And today we're going to talk from the subject of your actions are based on what you believe. Your actions are based on what you believe. Or I could put it another way and say your actions are evidence of what you really believe, whether that be what you believe about yourself, what you believe about God, what you believe about the possibilities for your life, uh, what you believe is the vision for your life, what you believe about others and the value of others, right? Your actions are the, your actions really show and give us insight as far as what you believe. And, and trust me when I say, like, I'm talking to you all about this, but I'm talking to myself about this thing right now, right? And I think it's so important. This might be one of the most foundational and important messages um, that I might give to you all, at least for now, because, man, what you believe is so important because it will determine what you be what it will determine what you see are the possibilities and it will determine, therefore, the action that you have. Right. So this is strongly connected to what we spoke about in the last video. Because we in, in the last video, we talked about the information, right? And so, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. And real quick, shout out to Jasmine Brown because I know she's been, watch, she's been watching the videos and she's been saying that they've been helpful to her. So I just want to shout you out real quick. Shout out to my whole Uniondale Knight, my Stony Brook Seawolves, my Oakwood University family, right? Shout out to all of you guys, man. OCOU, um, Northeastern Conference. It's a, it's, it's a blessing to be able to be in a position um, to give back to you all what you guys have given to me, man. So, um, so yeah, like I was saying, though, your actions are based on what you believe. So watch this. We talked in the last video about receiving information. And you need to receive the right information if you're going to have the right outcome. But watch this. The next step after getting the right information, the next thing to ask yourself is, do I believe this information that I've received, right? And when I say ask yourself, I'm not saying that you actually sit there and ask yourself, do you believe it? You may or you may not. But a lot of the time after we've gotten information, if we believe the information, there's specific actions that begin to happen after we've gotten that information, right? So, so w watch this. When I was in school, the first time when I went to Stony Brook University, I didn't do so well. Even though I graduated pretty much on time, I didn't do so well. When I got into law school, I didn't do so well. Something, however, whether it be the information that I was getting, the people that I had surrounded myself with, when I began, when I started grad school and started working on my master's in pastoral studies, at that time, the information that I had surrounded myself had become way different than any of the information that I had at any other point in my life. Like, I had never been surrounded with so many people that were pouring into me um, and, and, and so intentionally pouring into me the information. And, and not only that, but I was getting to see firsthand other people who were just like me who were beginning to have success in school and not just kind of having success, like amazing success in school, amazing success in their business and in their careers. And so what I asked, my, so, so, you know, on the contrary, on the, the flip side of that is that me and my, in my life, however, I was experiencing failure. So when I finally got into Oakwood University, I don't know what it was, but I believed that I was going to, like the information that had been coming to me was one of Vaughn, black young men, right? Black young men are able to exceed, I'm sorry, exceed, are able to excel just like anybody else, right? Um, um, the information that was coming to me was that just because you had failures previously in your life does not mean that you can't get in the game and have like an amazing success story in the game. So, so, so what happened is I started this, this new, this master's degree with this new belief that I hadn't had for, for quite some time in my life. And so by the time, you know, after two years ends, I graduate with a 3.8 GPA. I mean, there was one paper that I wrote that was like 60, like 60 to 80 pages, something like that, right? So, to, and whereas in the past, I would have been like, man, I don't feel like writing, <laughs> like, I don't feel like writing 10 to 20 pages. Imagine, I was enjoying the process of writing a 60 to 80 page paper, right? 
unbelievable. But my actions and what I began doing and what became enjoyable to me um, changed because, like I talked about, that information. But watch this. It's not just that I had the information, but I believed the information that I was receiving. And so the information that I, because I believed the information that I, I was receiving, I took action steps in faith, believing that things were going to work out in a particular way. And probably one of the problems that you're having in your life at this particular moment or that you've had in the past is that while, while you have gotten information, some of you haven't gotten the information at all, right? That's one thing. But some of you have gotten the information, but in the heart of hearts, you don't really believe the information that you've been receiving. So somebody's been telling you that you're valuable, but you still go after certain types of guys because you don't really believe that you're valuable based on whatever experiences you might have had in the past, right? Some of you have, you should be going into school, focusing on school, doing your thing in school, but you don't really, and people have told you this, people have told you that they see certain things in you, but you don't really believe what, they've, what they're seeing in you. So watch this. So I remember when my homegirl Desiree, her mom, this is back in 2002, 2003, had told me, yo, Vaughn, you need to, you need to become a pastor. And I didn't believe that I should be a pastor. I did not believe that information, even though other people had been giving me this information, right? She wasn't the only person. There were other people all, all, across, all, all along the different years that were like, yo, Vaughn, we, 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 you should look into becoming a pastor. And watch this. It took me over 10 years to finally say, you know what? Maybe I should, you know, become a pastor. Looking at the different things. Matter of fact, it was this past year, especially that a man named Dr. Paul Anderson was like, listen, all the different things that you're working on doing and, and it pouring into people's lives, it sounds like you should be a pastor, but you've been running away from it. So finally, I switched over into believing the information that I was receiving. And because of that, I stand before. Well, I'm, not, I'm sitting right now, right? But I'm in front of you today and I am a pastor, right? So, so watch this. Information, right? Watch this. I'm sitting in a chair speaking to you right now. The reason why I'm sitting in the chair and I don't even question, I immediately take action to sit in the chair is because I believe that the chair is going to hold me up so I can take action based on what I actually believe. And so the question that I want you guys to ask yourself is, do you really believe the, 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 the greatness that people have been telling you about that is within you. Do you believe it? Or will you continue to believe the negative report? There's, a, there's one question that we, we ask, you know, in, like in, in churches and, and, and it comes from the Bible. But, but the question goes like this. Whose report will you believe? Which report will you believe? Will you believe that, 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 that all things are possible to you? Or are you going to keep on believing that, that you're, the possibilities are restricted? for your life. What what report will you believe? Are you going to believe that you can be the engineer? Are you going to be believe that you can be the business owner? Are you going to believe that you don't have to be stuck to in within the 9 to 5? Are you going to believe that you can turn your financial situation around? Are you going to believe that you can get the education that you've been seeking after? Are you going to believe those things? Can you can you believe that you can own the house one day? Can you believe that you can be the agent of change that your community needs, right? Can you do do you believe those things because and, and, and do, do you believe those things in your heart because you you might think you believe those things but your actions may not be showing it and your actions are telling us what you really believe your actions are telling you us what you really believe my actions are telling me what I really believe and that's why I, little by little and I'm not saying everything's going to happen overnight but what I am saying is that the little steps at least baby steps in the direction of what you believe right and so oh and and, and so. If you believe the information, you will act on it, right? And here's the one thing. Here's, here's one of the things, one of the main um, impediments. I don't know if that's the best word to use, but, 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 but one of the main obstacles that we have when it comes to belief, and that is immediate versus delayed gratification. And what tends to happen is that, it, see, it's easy for me to come into a room and sit in a chair because I can immediately test whether or not, uh, I can immediately take action and see the results, Right? of what I believe. But the harder things or the, or, or the more difficult situations come when 
if you want to develop a business, if you want to develop a brand, if you want to go to school, if you, if you want to own a house, if you want to establish uh, good, healthy relationships between young men and young women, if, if, you, if we want to uh, develop strong marriages, the difference between that and just coming into a room and sitting in the chair is that while you might believe it, these things take time to develop. And a lot of us hop out of the game or a lot of us begin to doubt because we don't see the immediate results that we want. And so what my my and we'll talk about this at some later point, but you have to be careful not to be fooled by immediate gratification and, and, and understand that most things that are worthwhile take time to develop, significant amount of time to develop. They do not happen overnight. And if you get caught in this trap of, of thinking that success comes immediately, what I, I know I you only act on what can um, satisfy your belief immediately, then what's going to happen is that you're going to find that you have mortgaged out or, or you have traded your long-term success for immediate, uh, for, for immediate fun, for immediate gratification. And, and, and most people that we see who have the long-term types of success, the type of success that impacts generations is because they understood the difference between, um, uh, between playing right now and then having to work later or working right now so that they can play harder even later even later right so 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 once again we we talked about the information but the question now becomes what what do you believe you have to believe that 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 the greatness can like that that greatness is possible for you you have to believe that you and your family situation can turn around one day. You have to believe that that better things are coming, right? The Dion, I think it's Dion Kipping has a song that says, what's coming is better, right? What's coming is better than what's been. You have to believe that what's coming is better, right? And I believe for you that what's coming is better. 